Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is well, well, as well as they can be right now. Obviously, coronavirus is massive and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. I live in California, so as of last night, we are officially in lockdown. Cannot leave your home um, unless it's a necessity, like go to the grocery store. I don't know what's going on, but I've been self-isolating for about a week now, over a week. Make sure, as long as you don't have any symptoms or anything, you are still going outside, getting some fresh air, Staying as sane as you possibly can. Find ways to make yourself occupied, feel the best you can. Obviously, there are a lot of people that don't have a job right now, and I feel for you, and I'm like, I hope everyone's doing as well as they can. I just wanted to say that before we get into this vlog, that, you know, my heart goes out to everyone. and Stay safe, stay sane, stay indoors, stay inside is the big thing. There's all these, all these young people outside, just don't do that. Just stay inside, it's gonna be okay. That's the that's the quickest way that this whole thing is gonna be over and done with, is everyone just stays inside. Um, But onto this vlog, so I was recently in Sydney, I had a Sydney vlog, but I tried to edit it, I hated it, it just wasn't great, so we're not doing that. I'm here to give a sort of like an intro to the vlog because now it doesn't have an intro because I'm not using that footage so my mum wrote a book pretty much I clearly haven't finished it I'm nearly finished but I do know how it ends I'm not a reader obviously is you're gonna think I'm biased saying this but I don't like reading books it's true I'm a journalist but I don't enjoy reading books I have really enjoyed this book again biased but you know it's like a health sort of memoir but not like oh this diet plan works maybe I should just read the back and then in the blink of an eye it happened and it happened again 15 years later, and again 40 years later. My unwelcome claim to fame was the result of an extraordinary series of medical events that were out of my control. If I can go one step further, I'd like to add that I slept through most of them. It was then that the seeds my family had planted all those years ago were forced to germinate and blossom. I entered my first battle as an unwilling participant and despite emerging victorious three years later, I privately carried my mental anguish and kept it as close as my shadow for the next 40 years. My bizarre medical journey took me out of my comfort zone, sometimes kicking and screaming, and has left me raw with numerous physical and emotional scars. Battle scars. <laughs> but pretty much, let's just say, my mom got operated on the wrong leg when she came, went in for knee surgery. And this is in Sydney. So that sort of stuff is um, great. We're having a book launch event. And I've never been to a book launch. I don't know what a book launch is. But I had an idea of what kind of party I wanted. Because it's about me, clearly. And um, so I had, I've had dreams for months about how it was going to look. It was going to be all rustic. And I wanted it to be as environmentally friendly as possible as well. Obviously, balloons are not environmentally friendly. But. The rest of it was. It was surprisingly hard to find that stuff, which is an issue in itself, but you know, business venture. So we had about a week and a half really to plan this thing. And it, all the stuff that needed to be done more or less had to be done on the day. There was nothing that could be really prepped. So it was all, you know, hands on deck. And um, I'd never made a balloon garland or anything before, but um, I hope you enjoy the video. When I looked online and stuff, it said, give it yourself four hours, which I understand. But we got it done in about, I would say, two, two and a half hours. So it was pretty good for some rookies. It definitely helped that someone was there helping me, especially with the put-up part. I don't think I could have done that myself. Obviously, you'll see there was some fails, but, you know. And then it was a two-meter grazing board that was obviously stacked throughout the event. Um, you know, topped up and stuff. All the products and everything will be linked below, and so will the book. But... Stay safe, stay sane, stay inside are my messages of the day. And here, I'm going to start blowing up balloons. I've got my pump. It's, haven't tried it actually, so it better work. This is a little pump. These are all the balloons. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm just going to start blowing up. We're nearly finished the normal size balloons, so we've got to have different sizes. So this is, I guess, a normal, I want to say it's a 10-inch balloon. We've had a few pops. 
And then you've also got to make some little mini ones like these. I still need to blow up the super large ones. And I still also have the gold and then the ones that have the confetti inside. <laughs> just pops down, that if you just get some material, I don't know if this will work, like a cloth or paper towel, and start rubbing along the balloon, it will start to stick onto the side like you want. That was a good trick. So, just don't pop that, it's like precious. It's like, what would they say, like um, expensive cargo. <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna finish popping, and then, oh not popping, blowing. Thank God for this, that's the best We have our balloons, every single one. We lost a very important one of them, but. So now I'm gonna sit here and put them onto, this is the string. So I'm not gonna skip one, I'm just gonna go and go and go, and I'm pretty sure it's like five meters. Update, it's pretty great, and my mum got the speaker working, so. And my stereo. Stereo, yes, yes. I'm not worried too much about putting those sort of ones in, because we'll just pop them on with the glue dots later. having issues with it staying up so until we work it out we're stopping and ugh, not good not good not good okay so my mom went out to buy some bread i'm just putting out the cheeses i'm gonna put them away but this is what my table looks like i have some freons on there we're all using we're trying to be eco-friendly as much as possible today so everything besides, I guess, the balloons, is very recyclable, which is good. Put out some cheddar here, some brie. Um, you know, there's gonna be a lot of bread and crackers gonna come out, obviously. Gouda cheese here, camembert here. Um, these are all just some dips and like hummus and things. And then we've got some pate, some more camembert, apricot and almond cream cheese, and then a beautiful piece of brie and some honey to drizzle on top. Those are the eucalyptus leaves that I'm gonna be putting on. And these are some beautiful flowers and it's about it. Update, bread, orange, <laughs> all free ones, that's nice. As for me, I forgot my makeup brushes, so hopefully my brother pulls through with them. I just did my hair.
Ollie, so I'm literally doing my makeup in front of everyone. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lucky number between 1 and 100. Get on your lucky number. 